because you're not eating shit, you know, in your sh place of origin, where, you know, where you should be at. But, um, yeah, well, the luck is not always on my side. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just I just want to get belligerent with you. I just want to you get in my nerves. You're such a hypocrite. You're such a hypocritical person. I just want to get belligerent, and you know, if I ever saw you in person, I would probably slap you and make you taste the dirt. And I would do the same to your fucking kids. Yeah. Yeah, I would do the same to those hairy, smelly pieces of shit you're spawned hello as you can see the gentleman extinguished blue eyes too has a great deal of anger and he's obsessed with shit um And I'd like to encourage him to find a constructive outlet for this energy and um, try not to focus so much on destruction and pain and suffering and causing these things. Even though he does raise some valid historical points, he, uh, he's, all he is offering is more of the same. But I don't think he's going to listen so instead, what I'd like to do is give him a recipe that will help him take care of all that shit and all that aggression towards the world outside himself. So, it's very, very simple. <clears throat> First, you get yourself a bunch of flour. About a pound, maybe two should do. Spread it out over a flat surface. You get two bowls, all right? In one bowl, you uh, put your, uh, well, now first you got to get a big pot, big heavy pot, put it on the stove, put oil in it, and you want to heat it up to 350 degrees. But while you're doing that, you, you know, after, while it's heating up, you get yourself some pure cap. And what pure cap is, is the hot stuff in pepper. So you don't want to use too much of it. So you want to pour two cups. All right, use one cup now and set the other one aside. All right, and then you get yourself some eggs. All right, and you break open the eggs. You pour the you pour the uh, the put the eggs and one cup of pure cap in one of the bowls. All right, and then you get yourself a bag of dicks, a great big bag of dicks. Don't use yours. Yours is too small. All right, and if you've already cut it off, you can just throw it away. It's not doing anything anyway. All right, now take the dicks. And you dip them in the egg, and you roll them around in the flour, and you put them in the second bowl. All right. Now, don't get excited. Now is not the time or place for that. But you know, you got to focus on the recipe. So once you get all the dicks all floured up and everything, all right, you take them and you deep fry them in the oil you've heated to 350 degrees. All right. And you get a baking sheet, you know, big old baking sheet. And, you know, you put some paper towels down on it and everything while things are frying up. And you fish them out and you put them on the, uh, the, the baking sheet. Okay? And then what you do is, well, obviously you eat them. Eat a big, great, big old bag of deep fried dicks. But then what you do is you take a beach, a bath sheet. All right, and you've got that now, you know, all that oily stuff on top of the baking sheet, and you put your bath sheet on the baking sheet. All right, and you pour the cup, the, the cup, of, the other cup of pure cap. Remember the second cup I told you about. All right, and you fold that up, and that's going to be a lot of work, but and, you know, may tear a little bit and stuff like that. You know, all the better. You're going to be doing more with it. All right, and so then you keep on pounding and pounding and pounding, and and. Just shape that thing and cram it down and smaller and smaller until it's all sharp corners. And you find the little holes, all right? And if there's any anything left in that bowl with the egg in it, you pour it in there. And if there's any, if you can get into the oil in there, you pour that in there too, all right? And then you take that and you shove it someplace deep, intimate, and personal. And I think I know what you, what, you know what I'm talking about, all right? And so... 
so all the I guarantee you, if you do that, then all your all your concerns about shit, all that hate and anger that's built up inside, that will be the least of your problems. By the time you are done eating a bag of deep fried hot dicks and shoving a wad of metal sharp points with Oh, as soon as you pass that and you're done. But if there is any message I would like you to take away from that, it is. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Thank you for your time and attention.